Israel's conduct of hostilities has destroyed Gaza's civilian infrastructure, including places that have protected status under international law, hospitals, schools, and vital services, including electricity, water, and sewage. This contributes directly to the famine risk being discussed today. There is a strong likelihood that famine is imminent. This horrific possibility cannot be separated from the unrelenting attacks on the human rights of civilians there. Over the past five weeks, the Israeli military has conducted strikes that have led to massive civilian fatalities in northern Gaza, particularly impacting women, children, older people, the sick and people with disabilities, many of whom are reportedly trapped by Israeli military restrictions and attacks on escape routes. The severe restrictions imposed by Israel on the entry and distribution of goods and services necessary for the survival of the civilian population brought the risk of famine and starvation to Gaza. We again recall that the use of starvation of the civilian population as a method of warfare is strictly prohibited under international humanitarian law. The manner in which the Israeli military is conducting operations in northern Gaza suggests not only that Israel's actions are seeking to empty northern Gaza of Palestinians by displacing survivors to the south, but points to further grave risks of atrocities of the most serious nature.